Hi everyone in YouTube world. I am coming to you with a pre-Halloween video for what my Ashton Drake dolls are wearing and uh, what one of my first reborn dolls is wearing. And she might be my only one, but I was lucky enough or fortunate enough or blessed enough to find her at Home Goods. So, um, she is in this little outfit right here because she is ready for Thanksgiving. So we are skipping Halloween for her and going straight to the cranberry sauce, so to speak, uh, just because I ran out of Halloween preemie clothes for this little one. I really don't have very, um, I don't have very many preemie clothes. So um, this was the best I could do in such short time. But again, I found her at Home Goods, and uh, she is from Spain, and her name is Liliana Sofia because of that. All right, so I have my vintage Hallmark Happy Halloween card for the dolls here, and you guys might recognize this pretty little face. She is the Paris model for Ashton Drake but I call her Amelia, and uh, for short, her name is PJ, uh, because I did want to honor the fact that she did come with the name Paris, so her full name is Paris Jolene Amelia. This is my first doll, um, I believe, from this company that makes their own cloth dolls, and she is a designer doll, and I found her at Target, for ten dollars she was on clearance and she was the last one so um i believe her name is i'm not even gonna guess i'm not even gonna guess what her name is i have to look <laughs> but um again i got her at target on clearance this little lady right here is in her new outfit that I purchased from Carter's from head to toe. Actually, this uh, these socks are Hudson Baby, but you guys know that I usually pair stripes with stripes, no matter what color they are. Um, these jeans are from Carter's, and this size is a three-month. And this little onesie right here that says Peekaboo, is a newborn size so her name is Tiffany from the Ashton Drake line and she usually wears a newborn size but because she's so long in length uh, she usually wears a three month size jean uh, clothing and so this is her head wrap that goes with another outfit that you guys will see later on um, on one of the dolls but Tiffany looks absolutely adorable in uh, this pretty little outfit. So I'm glad I got her dressed up just in time for Halloween uh, because she was wearing a knitted outfit, a knit outfit. And that knit outfit was just too adorable that I had trouble getting her out of it because I just wanted to keep it on her forever. But I wanted her to join the rest of her brothers and sisters um, in the season of fall now that we are in the fall season this little guy who's tucked up under here is too cute Jackson and he is wearing his little turkey knit hat but underneath all that is his first Halloween bib and this is the boy version of what he was wearing last year where it just has like a little pumpkin on it and it says my first Halloween this is Novaline Octavia, and she is wearing the My First Halloween bib that I got from, I want to say, TJ Maxx. And I also got this little fall head wrap from TJ Maxx as well, with the matching fall booties. So, um, those are really cute all together. And I really felt like she deserved something nice um, because she was one of the last dolls that I changed for Halloween. So I really wanted her to have a nice bib. This little lady right here is uh, a find from the TJ Maxx company. I found her the same day. I found some of these cute little Halloween and fall items. And her name is Sasha. She's a cloth doll. 
All right, this right here is Novaline's twin, and her name is Lola. You, um, I gave her a U name because of the unicorn, <laughs> so I have to think about her name. Uh, I want to say Unita, but it's not Unita. <laughs> Udella, I'm sorry. This is Lola Udella. And she's got these pretty little pies on her bib. And she's just wearing some uh, pink socks to go with her outfit. All right, you guys have seen this little lady. Her name is Allie, uh, short for Alicia. But her middle name is Tiana after the first Disney princess. And she's in the same outfit that I've had her in for a while with these socks. This is her brother. I changed up his bib a little bit. And so he is wearing some pumpkin bat and spiders on his bib just in time for Halloween to go with his little card that has pumpkins, spiders, and jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> so not too far. And bats. So that's cute. All right, this is my little sleeping beauty, and her name is Flora Cressida, but um, if I could name her, she would be just Cressida. And for this guy, if I could just name him, he would be Talbo, but he is um, Michelle from the Ashton Drake line. And Cressida is, again, in this little nighty or sleeper. And I like how these have Halloween fall colors on it, so I didn't really have to do too much um, with her blanket. So I might have to change it up for uh, Christmas and prior to Christmas, maybe Thanksgiving, since we have such a short window after Halloween. So we'll see. All right, this is Alana. And um, her middle name is Addison. And I would call her Addison if I could, but um, her Ashton Drake name is Alana. These are my two Target dolls from our generation. And these two dolls, um, let's see. This is, well, they're called a sister's love. And so this is Bettina. And she's wearing this little turkey and pumpkin outfit to go with her sister who has like a little turkey and orange theme to her barrette. And um, I gave her like a little bib since she has the jack-o'-lanterns on her diaper cover. And so that's what she looks like. So this bib because um, this bib looked, or this size bib, looks so good on this tiny little doll, um, I knew to put it or pair it with um, or gift it to uh, Judith. So this is Betty and Judy for short. So hopefully um, when some of the other dresses go on sale, um, after Halloween, I can pick something out for Bettina that will match her sister's um, diaper cover a little bit better because she has more of a Halloween theme for jack-o'-lanterns on her diaper cover. But she also has these cute fall leaves on her diaper cover too. So um, I'm going to keep that same diaper cover on her for Thanksgiving. So those are the Ashton Drake dolls. They are all ready for Halloween and for Thanksgiving. So once Halloween is behind us, I'll probably start getting out the Thanksgiving cards. And for those who have the Thanksgiving bibs, um, they will stay in their Thanksgiving bibs. And for those who have Halloween or my first Halloween bibs, uh, will be changed into Thanksgiving bibs 
just because again, the turnaround time to change these dolls up for the season will be fast approaching. Um, and Christmas is usually the time that I like the most in my home, uh, especially when it comes to dressing these dolls. I find that my joy comes from doll collecting and really taking advantage of some of the deals that I find for doll size items that fit Ashton Drake dolls. Um, and this year I will have a little bit of a challenge for my new Spanish Reborn doll because she is like 15 or 16 inches and that's a preemie size. So finding clothing for her again will be a little bit more of a challenge versus some of the bigger dolls. So Ashton, Drake, um, the tiniest dolls that I have being Judith, who is my tiniest at 13 inches, and then Alana, and then two cute Jackson. So those are my tinier dolls, or um, yeah, my tinier dolls in the collection that um, are kind of tricky to dress. But everyone else usually wears newborn to three months. Um, I think my biggest doll who is Bettina, my toddler doll, she wears at most six months. So six month size clothing. So anyway, that's the video guys. I hope that you're enjoying the Halloween season for fall. Um, Halloween can be very, very fun. Um, you know, when you're talking about babies and dressing little dolls up and whatnot. So Again, if you guys can snag some of the deals that are going on in some of the TJX stores and Carter's is having a really good sale on some of their baby clothing for Halloween because uh, I had a lot of fun dressing up my youngest um, in recent years in Halloween clothing um, because he was practically a newborn around this time. So, um. So just have fun, guys. All right. Talk to you later.